con artists want to know as much as they can about their mark. The more the information they have on the mark, the easier it is to take advantage of them. Knowledge is power. You know where someone lives, you know their daily routine, you know what they like, what they like to eat, where they like to go. All these pieces of information help a con artist in conning the person. So when people say, oh, the government's spying on my phone, I don't, I, I don't care, I don't have anything to hide. It has nothing to do. They don't. They, they're not trying to find something that you're doing wrong. They're trying to gather information so they can control and manipulate you. It has nothing to do with the things you do about being bad or good. It has to do with knowing everything about you, knowing more about you than you know about yourself. And governments and these corporations know more about us than we know about ourselves. And I'm not saying that every single person has another person who is there listening in on their conversations, watching through their camera what they're doing, though I'm sure there are some people who have a specific person listening and watching everything. But for the majority of people, it's just algorithms. They hear what you say. These algorithms are very powerful. They can understand what you say. They can understand where you're at. And they can put it all together into a certain file. And by the things you say, by the things you post, by the things you do, by the places you go, they could put you in specific categories. Like this person's easy to deceive. This person is against the government. This person is for abortion. And they can put you in these little categories and that's how they can deal with you. If you're trying to get a job, if you're trying to get a you know gun license or just whatever. They have all this information and you are just a piece of data from an algorithm. An algorithm figures all this out. And so when anybody from the government or whatever is dealing with you, they just click on your file and the algorithm says this is the type of person they are. And the reason why they know that is because it knows where you've been. It knows what you say. It knows what you've posted. It knows what you retweet. It knows everything. It knows when you sleep, it knows when you stay up, it knows when you have sex, it knows everything about you. Knowledge is power and con artists need knowledge about their mark to be able to take advantage of them. They know how to market to you, they know how to manipulate you, they know how to manipulate your emotions, they know what makes you happy, they know what makes you sad, they know what makes you angry. And they can trigger you with these things because they know exactly what makes you tick. Like, oh, I could get this person angry by saying this. Oh, I could, I could get this person triggered by doing this. Oh, I could, you know, make this happen or say this or put this in their feed or, or, or what have you and make you feel a certain way. Angry, happy, sad, depressed. They know what makes you tick okay so it has nothing to do with oh I don't have anything to hide like they don't they could care less you know it's, it doesn't have to do with being a good person or being a bad person or them knowing if you're a good person or a bad person it doesn't have anything to do with that so stop thinking that because you don't have anything to hide that you don't care if they're watching and listening to everything we do because you should really should care because they have these powerful computers and they're understanding people more and more and it's not good it's not gonna be good and you should care about this I'm not saying be negative I'm people oh you're always so negative it's not negativity it's being aware you know 
What's wrong with being aware? What's wrong with knowing what's going on? What's wrong with seeing the bad in the world and preparing for the bad in the world? It's not like I'm unhappy and say, oh my God, I'm always thinking about, you know, preparing. Like, it's not a sad way to live. I mean, obviously it's not, I'm not just trying to seek pleasure as my, you know, number one thing in my life. That's not good anyway. So stop thinking that if you have nothing to hide, that you shouldn't care if they're spying on you because you should care. Let me know what you think.